The National Institute of Aging tells us that by even making the smallest change to our strength building can have big impacts on our everyday life. Getting up and down out of the chair becomes easier and climbing those stairs with ease. But today we're focusing on the upper body. We're gonna be strengthening the arms, upper back, and shoulders. And by doing this, you'll notice that you can reach just to that top cabinet a little bit easier. You can pick up your grandchildren to your chest and all the other everyday activities that we need to get done. So today you need a chair and some hand weights. If you don't have hand weights, go get the soup cans out of the pantry or some water bottles with the lids on tightly. But before we get started, I need you to subscribe to my channel below and afterwards leave some comments. Let's get started working upper body strength. All right, before we start working strength, we are going to warm up first. Now we'll be sitting for the majority of the strength, but I would like for you to stand for your warm up. You've got your chair nearby, should you need it. We just gotta wake up the chest, the shoulders, and the arms. You can alternate which arms on top if you like. Make sure you're not going to hit that chair, though. That would hurt. How about some arm circles? So careful that chair. Maybe get further away. Very good. Can you go the other way? Yeah, slow. It doesn't have to be super fast. You just got to get them warm. All right, we're going to be doing lots of shoulders today. So let's start at goal post. Press up, slightly in front. You can barely see those fingertips. I'm generating some heat in the shoulders here. All right, next time you come down, touch your elbows. Then overhead. Elbows. You got it. A couple more. There you go. One more time. All right, good job. We're waking up the legs, lower body just a little bit. Um, you've got the chair right here. If you want it in front of you, even better, even more stable. And we're just going to sit the hips back, so if I need it, I've got it. Do some chair squats here. Good. If you're feeling pretty confident with that chair, you can scoot it a little bit further because I want to add some arms to it. When you come up, reach that left arm tall and then squat back down. And then reach the right arm tall. Good. Now you'll get more of a side stretch out of this if you bring your feet closer together, but then it's harder to balance. So just flow to your own breath here. Getting shoulders, legs, and glutes warm. A couple more. All right, let's wake up this lower body just a little bit. Even if we're focusing on upper body, we still gotta get warm. Hold on to this chair, let's do some leg swings. Soften the bottom leg. It's not as important to balance on this as it is just to get the hip warm. Good job. It's a great warm up to do anytime. Before you go walking. All right, set that foot down, let's finish with a knee. Open, knee close. I've got my chair. I can work a little balance to it if you like. A couple more. Good job. Bring it back in. All right, take this chair to the other side should you need it. All right, a couple more squat to side. Squat, lift, right arms next. Good job. Remember to sit the hips back. One more. All right, holding on to the chair if you need it. We're softening this right leg. We get to swing the left. Make sure there's nothing around to kick. If you're feeling pretty confident with your balance, maybe hover that hand off the chair, but it's warm up. You don't have to balance just yet. That's another video. All right, how about the knee in and out? Feet together, lead with that left knee up and out, and then set it back down. Good. It's like you're stepping over one of those really tall baby gates because you don't know how to open it. Two more. Last one. Ooh, that 
hips feeling pretty warm now. All right, you're gonna need your chair in front of you for this one. But I'm gonna move mine so you can see me better. Toes forwards. We're gonna bend into your left knee. But your left knee is trying to jam past your toe. Don't let that happen. Sit your hips back. Push out of the heel. And then we bend the right knee, sit back. Good. If this kills your knees, just do basic squats instead. I'm trying to wake up your inner thigh here and your hips a little bit more. Plus it wakes up the glute on each side when you do that push out of the heel. One more. Very good. All right, let's finish with the plie. So I've got my chair in front of me if I need to grab it. Bottoms tucked in, chest up. Bend your knees. Don't let your knees bypass your toes. Push through your heels to get up. We lower and press. If you're okay with your hand off the chair, you could do a one arm and then go to the other side. If you don't need that chair, both arms. Inhale, exhale. Okay, we got two more. Last one. All right, you should be warm. Wiggle those feet back on in, give it a little shake. Let's find our chair, it's time to work. But not only are we working chest, we're gonna be working shoulders, biceps, triceps, back is working, and your core. That's why I love push-ups, you get all in one. All right, so to make sure we do them properly, your hands are always shoulder level, not super high, not real low, and they're wider than your shoulders. So find a wall or a kitchen countertop is even better. That puts you at more of an angle. But wherever you go, Try to keep going, listen to your body, take breaks if you need to. That's our cue, you ready? All right, walk those feet back, no saggy bellies. Abs tight, shoulders back and down, get ready. We're starting with two by twos. Down two, press two, down two. We got two more of these. One more. It's about to get fun, you ready? Bottom half, all the way down, halfway up. Back down, all the way up. These are called bottom halves. Two more of them. One more. All right, down hold. Up slow. Do it again. Down, up slow. Ooh, shoulders talking. Arms are working. Squeeze your chest every time you push. All right, a little faster. Triple pump. Three, two, one. Push away. Three, two, one. Got two more of these. One more time. All right, we got singles. Here we go. If you need a break, take one. Over time, you're trying to build. We got four more. I'm getting close to being done. Stay with me. Two more. Triple pump. Three, two, one. Triple. Okay, we got two more. One more time. And for a grand finale, down hold. Up slow. Squeeze at the top. You're done. Who felt that? Give me a chest expansion. Good job. Remember, if you can't do it all at first, you gotta build up to it. It's gonna help you do so many things you need to do around the house. Much easier. We're moving on to triceps and biceps. For triceps, you're gonna need the smaller weight. You're gonna hold your hand here and you're going to do your tricep extensions, okay? It doesn't take much weight to hit that smaller muscle. So have that right nearby. We begin with two larger weights if you have them. We're on the edge of the chair. If you find that you're hitting the chair, you can do it standing up. I just find that sitting gives us a little bit more stability. All right, so let's roll our shoulders back and down, sit nice and tall. We're starting with two by two, soft arms at the bottom. Here we go. Up two, down two. Exhale and inhale. Notice my elbows hug the sides of the body. All right, we're gonna slow it down. Here we go. 
up four, three, two, down slow. Don't come all the way up to rest or straighten your arms at the bottom. All right, we're gonna change it up. We're going up three. Up three, two, one, single down. Two more. One more time. All right, triple pump, halfway. Three, two, one, release. Three, two, one, one more. Halfway hold. Good. Two by two. We're dancing with weights. What could be more fun? Up two. Give me one more hold. Hold. All right, right arm goes. Here we go. Left arm's holding still. Four singles with the right. Now right arm out, left arm's turn. Four, three, two, both arms, top half, up, halfway down. Halfway down, two more. Now reverse it, bottom half, 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 two more and you're done with biceps. Whew, all right, open up that leg, put those aside. Find your tricep weight. Get in position, two by two, down two. Good, you're feeling it right here. Make sure that shoulder's back and down. All right, we're changing into one and three. Here we go. Down, lift slow. Ooh, feeling that burn now. Two more. One more, we get to switch arms. Two by two. Join in when you're ready. I didn't give you much transition time. Down two. One and three. Down, lift slow, squeeze. Down, lift slow. We're almost there. Made it. Good job. We're moving on to shoulders. Shoulders is a little muscle group. So when we go to goal post, you always want to keep the elbows at shoulder level, not down here. We never want to shrug. And then when the weights are overhead, it's not straight overhead. That hurts my shoulders, but slightly out in front where I can see. Keep your joints soft. All right, here we go. We're gonna start at goal post. Shoulders back and down. We're gonna alternate arms. Right arm, lift, left arm. Right arm, left arm. Good, both arms. Up, down fast. Up, down fast. One more, hold here. Now double pump first and soft arms. Looking good. Hold the goal post. All right, you get your first break. Roll it on out. We're going to lateral raises. Abs stay tight, 90 degree bend. All right, lift down slow. Again, lift down slow. Even slower, up and down. Perfect, lift. Other side, we're alternating. Are your shoulders backing down? Halfway there. Good, hold. Perfect, bring it on down. All right, we're going back up overhead. Ready? Right arm, left arm, right arm. Left arm, up fast, both arms, down. Good, do it again, up fast, down slow. Perfect, you get to break again. Shoulders back and down. We're alternating sides to finish. Right, then left. Keep that good form. When you get tired, you start trying to shrug, lift. 
Told you you're gonna listen to this beat. You're gonna have it in your head when you shower. Hopefully it makes you smile. We're almost there. Both arms, hold. And you're done. Good job.